All right, so I got my six blocks all dimensioned and cut to two and a half inches long. Uh, so the next thing I have to do is five out of the six blocks need a three quarter by three eighths of an inch dado. Like this one here I've already cut. And the way I did this is I built a little jig kind of just out of clamps here on the bench. All right, so the way this setup works is pretty simple. I got a piece of three eighths MDF at the back, clamped to the table, a piece of three eighths maple in the front clamped to the table. And then here in the center is a extra block clamped with another piece of maple on top of it to act as a fence. So I can slide the work piece I need in and it's set to 7 eighths of an inch. I can make a saw cut, pull it out, flip it around, make another saw cut and that will give me my 3 quarters of an inch dado. And what that does is ensure that my dado is in the dead center of the block. Alright, so I got my five dados and my five blocks, and now I gotta take three blocks and turn them 90 degrees. And starting from a half an inch from the edge, I need an inch and a half by three eighths of an inch dado. Now I'm gonna use the same setup I used with the three quarter inch dado, just this time I've moved my stop block so it's a half an inch from the edge, and again I'll flip it to get the second saw cut so I make sure that that dado is in the center. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, so you can see I did my three inch and a half by three eighths inch dados and I'm almost done. I got one more to do. This guy here again is flipped 90 degrees and again a half an inch from the edge will be another three quarter by three eight dado. Instead of the inch and a half it will be three quarter. So I can use my same jig again for the first saw cut but then I'll have to move it to do the second one to get the three quarter.
So for a finish, all I did was just give it a couple coats of spray lacquer. Um, so that's it. Yeah, it was a pretty fun project. Admittedly, I didn't get this the first try though. Uh, I think I underestimated how difficult this project actually, actually is. So um, I think where I went wrong the first time was I didn't pay close enough attention to how centered my dados are in the blocks as well as that they're exactly three eighths of an inch or exactly half the depth of the block. So you had to re really pay close attention to that. And the first time I didn't use the setup I used on the bench and I think that's really what gave me the accuracy I needed. So anyways, I hope you guys like this project. I really enjoyed it. And I'm Ryan Oswald, thanks for watching.